Hey guys, my name is Brayden. I'm a 21 year old bullion collector from Perth. I'm starting this YouTube channel to showcase my bullion collection. On this channel, I will also create vlogs showcasing new purchases and different adventures such as day trips to find rare coins, as well as tours of the Perth Mint. Firstly, why did I start collecting bullion? I've worked in mining for over a year, working as a geotechnician that works with core samples, as well as being a driller's offsider for many different mine sites across WA. By doing this job, I've learned that if I ever want to be successful, I'd have to put in a whole lot of hard work and determination to be successful. To me, bullion isn't just an investment. It's a final product made by many hard workers. Working in mining has made me appreciate precious metals more than most people would. All right, so let's start with the first coin. We'll start with the 1 10th Britannia. This coin is one of my favorites as it's my only gold piece. I love the design of the Britannia, having been to England. This coin is highly liquid, meaning I can take it to a dealer and sell it, most likely getting the amount that I paid back for it. This coin has a face value of 10 pounds and will be a coin I'll definitely be holding onto for quite some time as it will be the last uh, Britannia with the Queen's head on the back. Second coin is from the Perth Mint. It is a one, half ounce Year of the Rabbit coin. I wouldn't say it's much of an investment as it's a lot higher over spot than a one ounce coin. This coin is currently going for $23.50 each and has a face value of 50 cents. If you are from Australia, the Perth Mint Kangaroos are one of the cheapest coins on the market, going around $38 each. Great Australian coin comes from the ABC Bullion Company. It is called the Eureka. The design showing an early miner holding gold in his hand also features a kookaburra in a tree. This coin, however, doesn't feature the queen on the back, which to some could be a bit of a disadvantage. Philharmonic coin made in Austria is one of my favourites. It is definitely a very unique piece with a face value of 1.5 euros. This coin is a must have for the collection. The Prince Charles one ounce silver coin produced in 2008 celebrating his 60th year is my favourite coin I currently own. I picked it up for only a couple dollars over spot value and shows a lot of depth and detail to not only the Queen but also the colours that are used on Prince Charles. The Canadian Maple Leaf was the first coin that I had bought. I bought it from ABC Bullion at a fairly decent rate of $43.50. This coin Shows the maple leaf on the front and shows the, the uh, emblem of the Canadian Royal Mint. It is made of fine silver and has a different sort of design of the Queen on the back. I definitely recommend investing in this coin as it's pretty unique and stands out. Just like the Gold Britannia, the Silver Britannia shares the same design. This is one of my favourites as it's a good size, good weight, and once again just looks really nice. Alright, finally I've got the two bullion bars I've got. They're both 10 ounce fine silver, both Australian made. The one on the left is from the Perth Mint, and the one on the right is from ABC Bullion. Personally, I recommend the ABC Bullion bar because it just looks better and looks like it'd be easier to stack. The one on the left is good, but I don't like the round edges, but it's more width than the ABC one. But yeah, once again, like I said, just the size is different. So I recommend ABC. Alrighty, so that's all of them. So that's um, my first vlog showing all my coins. I'll probably make one every couple weeks just to show you guys my progress and new purchases. But yeah, thanks for that. I appreciate it.